What's up guys welcome to Tech Predator. Finally Samsung has announced its awesome series phones officially. The Galaxy A series welcomes two new 5G phones, which introduce a new 5 nanometer chipset to chipset that Samsung barely mentions, but it should be the new Exynos 1280. As for the two phones, they are mostly the same save for the display and camera. The Samsung Galaxy A73 5G is the largest of the three and offers the biggest display a 6.7-inch Super AMOLED panel with FHD plus resolution and 120Hz refresh rate. That replaces a display of the same size with 90Hz refresh rate on last year's A72. And that one was a 4G-only phone, we never got a 5G version. Clearly, the A73 does offer next-gen connectivity. The unnamed chipset is paired with 6 or 8 GB of RAM and 128 or 256 GB storage, plus a micro SD slot for up to 1 TB more. The phone boasts a 108 megapixel main camera with an f1.8 aperture lens with OIS, replacing the old 64 megapixel sensor. There's no telephoto lens this time around, however, so the phone relies on its high resolution main sensor to do the zooming in. The main camera is joined by a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 5 megapixel macro cam, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. On the front is a 32 megapixel selfie camera punch hold into the display. The battery situation is the same as last year, 5000 mAh capacity and 25 watt charging. The smaller A53 and A33, even A23, offer the same battery. The Samsung Galaxy A73 5G will be available in select markets from April 22, pricing details are to be announced soon. While the Galaxy A53 5G is equipped with a 6.5 inches Super AMOLED display, with FHD plus resolution and 120Hz refresh rate. The 32 megapixel selfie camera is punch holed into the display. Flipping over to the other side, the main camera has a 64 megapixel sensor and an f1.8 aperture lens, with OIS joining it, are at 12 megapixel ultra wide module f2.2 aperture, a 5 megapixel macro camera, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Those numbers may not make Galaxy A52 and A52 seconds owners jealous, but the new model is not without upgrades. The new chipset can fuse up to 12 images for improved night mode shots. It also uses two cameras in portrait mode for a cleaner separation between subject and background. And it has smarts that allow it to automatically pick the best frame rate for recording video, given the ambient light. The battery capacity grew to 5000 mAh, up 500 mAh from the A52 series. Charging remains the same at 25 watt for what it's worth, that's the same as on the Galaxy S22, except that one has a smaller 3700 mAh battery. The Samsung Galaxy A53 5G will become available in select markets on April 1st. Prices for Germany and UK are €450 Euro and £400 respectively for the 6GB RAM and 128GB internal storage variant. Well the prices of 8GB RAM and 256GB version is to be announced soon. While in the US it will launch the day before, March 1, at a price of $450 for a SIM-free unit. It will also be available through T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T and other carriers from April 1. Pre-orders start today, and if you do pre-order, you are eligible for a free pair of Galaxy Buds Live. Now let's take a look at the series bottom phone the Galaxy A33 5G. The Galaxy A33 5G is roughly the same size as the A33, though it shrinks the display to 6.4 inches and the refresh rate to 90 Hz. It is still a Super AMOLED panel with FHD Plus resolution. This is a massive improvement over the A32 5G, which had a 60Hz LCD with HD Plus resolution. It's a better display than what the new Galaxy A23 and M33 have to offer as well. Moving on to the camera, the main module houses a 48 megapixel sensor and an f1.8 aperture lens with OIS. The ultra wide module here has an 8 megapixel sensor, the front facing camera drops down to 13 megapixel, though notice that it's inside a notch, rather than a punch hole. As for the auxiliary cameras on the back, the macro keeps the 5 megapixel resolution, the depth sensor is down to 2 megapixel. The rest is the same as on the A53 5G, or to put it another way, better than the A32 5G. That one also had a 5000 mAh battery, but with only 15 watt charging it needed nearly 2 and a half hours for a full charge. Samsung says that the new phones will go two days before needing to be plugged in. Both the A33 5G and A53 5G come in two memory configurations, 6 or 128 GB and 8 or 256 GB, both also have micro SD slots for up to 1 terabyte more. Both phones are rated IP67 for dust and water resistance. They also feature Gorilla Glass 5 on the front to protect their displays. The Samsung Galaxy A33 5G will be available from April 22 in select markets. The Galaxy A53 5G and A33 5G launch with Android 12 and One UI 4.1. 
Samsung guarantees that they will receive four Android OS updates and up to five years of security patches. Samsung is also preparing to launch a new Onyx color for the Galaxy Buds Live next month to complement the looks of the new A series phones. The new Galaxy A series will not include a charger in the retail package, which Samsung paints as an eco friendly move as it makes the packaging smaller. Speaking of the packaging, it is made out of sustainably sourced paper. The phones themselves use recycled post-consumer materials for the side buttons and SIM card trays. Now please let us in the comment section which of these phones will you pre-ordered, and why. Also please like this video and make sure to hit subscribe button before leaving. Thanks for watching and goodbye.